home a few days ago and spent the holidays with my family. Kareem made cookies and left milk for Santa. But today, I'm gonna deep clean the van today. It is a mess. I have stuff everywhere around here. We just got back from Canada and I have a lot of clothes to get rid of, a lot of cleaning to do. I wanna declutter the clothes and donate or throw away things that we don't wear and make the space look brand new. Let's get started. So first things first, we are gonna start with our clothes. I literally, it's stuff everywhere. We have so much clothes that it's time to get rid of stuff. I'm gonna bring some things in, swap out some things. So let's get started with step one, which is cleaning our closet, throwing away and donating things that we do not need. Let's start cleaning. Oh, stuff everywhere. Uh. Really bad habit of purchasing cute clothes for Kareem and forgetting about them but what's weird is when I travel abroad we travel so light but when I'm in my tiny home on wheels the clothes just add up I see you looking like a snack let me see some you are the wifey type baby you could be one let me change your life I could show you many reasons this year, I definitely want to purchase a new van by the end of April. No pressure because the market for vans right now is actually insane. My plan is to save up as much money as I can so that way I can build my dream van. I eventually would like to purchase acres. I'd love to go to the East Coast, maybe back to the Midwest, Northern California, or out of the country. Possibilities are endless. Okay, so I think what I'm actually going to end up doing is putting the clothes in here and then transferring it up here just like this in these totes because using packing cubes they still fall down onto the bed so i want to have that happen as little as possible i'm going to put all the clothes that i have in the van right now in here for now keep and donate pile for Kareem's clothes, I get started with my own. I don't usually get dressed up, but this year I definitely want to start being more put together. Okay, so now that the clothes are pretty much done and squared away, these are all the clothes I have in the van at the moment. Um, I pretty much went through all my clothes inside the house, threw away lots of clothes, and donated a bunch. Also, um, don't have that many clothes in general. A shopping spree did happen, but that's beside the point. I'm going to now take everything out of the van just because it's easier that way and I'm going to get started with washing my sheets and getting that all squared away. Let's start taking everything out of the van and we'll go from there. Kareem and I are definitely outgrowing this tiny little space. He's now able to touch the ceiling. When I first built our van and started our van journey, he was two years old. Quit my job, finished college, and set out to travel the USA. I faced so many challenges being a single mom on the road in the beginning, such as financial issues, mechanical problems, and being a 23-year-old young mom navigating the world in a van. I struggled with finding my own hobbies outside of being a mother. Prior to motherhood, I adored writing and listening to music and picnics. I've recently gotten back into all of my Which hobbies has helped me maintain my sense of identity i recently really loved cooking meals breakfast lunch and dinner for cream and for this new year i hope to be more intentional with what i'm putting into my body i really saw it firsthand eating the food in europe it just tasted better in my opinion it was clear that the food was healthier and more nutritious speaking of food so how are you uh, we're uh, homeless oh yeah cool all right Sorry. that's all right that's cool right there yeah all right all right have a good one have a what did he say? Oh, what happened? Oh, and what did he say? so my van broke down yesterday luckily i was only a few miles from my family's house i'll go more into that in the next video 
but I'd love to do a little Q&A next video while I hopefully get the van fixed by my mechanic while I'm in town. Oil change, which I'm too lazy to learn how to do myself, but I know in the end it'll be worth it. I need to winterize the van since I do plan to travel in the van this so winter. So lots of van upgrades will be happening. Put the little Toy Story toys on the bed. Next step is to organize the pantry. My pantry looks super sad right now because I made sure to eat all the food prior to leaving to Canada so nothing goes bad and my family is always missing something and conveniently I have it in my van. Our grocery haul is definitely needed after my van is all fixed but for now that's a worry for another time. Under here, I just keep dirty laundry, shoes, toiletries, some clothes, and we have a junk tote. Like a junk drawer, except a tote, you know? Or maybe I'm just trying to justify having a bunch of random things I can't get rid of. The road really may never know. And now I am going to organize Kareem's little toy bin. Um, it doubles as his toy bin as well as his sitting area when he's doing school or eating. One of my favorite parts of the van and probably Kareem's too. Now we are going to focus on the cab area. If you can already tell, I'm super exhausted, but I'm so happy now it's time to fix the decorations and hang everything back up. If you're wondering, cream is inside the house and I'm looking forward to going in as well to shower. A shower, such a luxury. Never take being back at my family's house for granted, that's for sure. But make sure to leave a few questions down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.